Hi, I'm Kirsty Cullen, Registered Nutritional Therapist at the Optimum Health Clinic. And today, I'm going to share how you can support your own histamine balance with one simple addition to your diet. A histamine intolerance is not at all uncommon. High histamine levels are something that many people unfortunately experience with seasonal hay fever. But because we have histamine receptors throughout the whole body, we can also experience a wide range of histamine-related symptoms such as eczema, asthma, nasal congestion, or even anxiety, headaches, bloating, and nausea, just to name a few. Interestingly, we also often see a high level of histamine as a key player in the complex fatigue picture. Histamine intolerance occurs when there's an increased production of histamine in the body, coupled with a reduced ability to break it down. And in this scenario, it's really important to establish what might be triggering an overenthusiastic production of histamine. These triggers may be bacterial, viral, food or alcohol based, and sometimes environmental factors, hormone imbalances, or even stress can be found at the root cause of a histamine issue. And of course, those root causes are really important to address. But we also want to focus on how we can support the body to break histamine down and then remove it from circulation. So, first of all, how do we break histamine down? Well, diamine oxidase, or DAO for short, is a key enzyme in the body that breaks histamine down and therefore helps to reduce your circulating histamine levels. There are various reasons why your DAO levels may be lower than we need them to be, and your nutrition practitioner will often explore that as part of your nutrition work. In the meantime, however, we can increase your intake of DAO via the diet with the support of the small but mighty pea sprout, which happens to be rich and abundant in DAO, and growing your own pea sprouts is beautifully simple. So to demonstrate, I have here a bag of pea seeds, here we go, and a sprouting jar, and here's how to grow them. So we're simply going to soak these pea seeds overnight for around eight hours, then give them a really good drain and rinse. Put them into a mason jar with a mesh lid, and then simply invert the mason jar to make sure any leftover liquid drains away. We then plunge the seeds into darkness with the help of a sleeve like this, or you can wrap a tea towel around the jar or put them in a dark airing cupboard. And from here, we simply rinse and drain twice a day, morning and evening, and they'll be ready in 10 to 12 days. Now, the lack of light is key because that stresses the shoots out and forces them to produce more DAO, creating little DAO powerhouses. So here are my pea sprouts after just seven days of growth. So at around 10 to 12 days, we'll wash them really thoroughly, and then we'll liberate the DAO goodness by blitzing them into a smoothie or chopping them into a salad. So this this is a really budget-friendly way to continue to effectively support your histamine balance. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, then do follow us at the Optimum Health Clinic.